Hi, I'm Sean Elliott, a reconstructive urologist specializing in surgeries to rebuild the bladder in adults with neurogenic bladder. This video is intended for patients and their caregivers to help them understand the Mitrofenov operation. I've helped hundreds of people with bladder problems due to spinal cord injury, spina bifida, cerebral palsy, and several other neurologic diseases be able to catheterize themselves in their chair thanks to this fantastic operation. Let's go through the what, the why, and the how of the Mitrofenov one at a time. First, what is a Mitrofenov? A Mitrofenov is a natural tube from your navel or belly button to the bladder for catheterization. This tube is usually made out of the appendix, but we can use other pieces of intestine if you don't have an appendix. Second, why would someone want or need a Mitrofenov? Well, many people with neurogenic bladder catheterize to empty their bladder. The catheter is inserted and removed about five times per day, allowing them to go catheter-free most of the day. But how does self-catheterization work in the real world if you use a wheelchair? The answer is it works a bit differently in men versus women. Let's address how it works in women first. Here, the bladder is shown in yellow just below her belt line. In women, the urethra exits between the legs. This makes it very challenging to catheterize while in your chair. Some women can self-transfer to a toilet for catheterization through the urethra, but leg spasms and hand dexterity issues make urethra access difficult for most women. So, the only way to catheterize for many women is lying on a bed and having other people do it. A Mitrofenov allows women to catheterize themselves right in their chair. This helps them preserve their dignity, their independence, and the process is simpler and quicker. How does this work differently in men? It is easier for men to reach their urethra, but sometimes it can feel like it takes four hands to do this. You need one to hold the shirt up, another to hold the pants down, a third to hold the penis up, and a fourth to put the catheter in. I've come up with some really creative workarounds. Most find that wearing pants with an elastic waistband is helpful. Many use a bungee cord or something similar to help hold the pants down. People will roll up their shirt so that it doesn't fall back down, but all of this can still be difficult with quadriplegia or reduced dexterity. A Mitrofenov can help men catheterize more easily, especially if they have reduced dexterity. It is also a lot simpler than catheterizing through the penis and helps preserve their dignity. Finally, it only requires two hands, and it's okay if the dexterity in those hands is not great. It takes a lot less dexterity to catheterize through a Mitrofenov than it does through a urethra. Now we've covered the what and the why of the Mitrofenov, let's talk about the how. How is a Mitrofenov made, and how does it work in real life? First, the appendix is cut off the colon. The appendix has no real function, and it is safe to remove without impacting your bowel movements. The appendix is nice to use because it is about the diameter of a catheter. If you don't have an appendix, we can use other pieces of bowel and reshape them to be the diameter of a catheter. We then open the other end of the appendix so that it is open on both sides and a catheter can pass through easily. Then we open the outer muscular layer of the bladder without cutting into the inner mucosal layer. We then make a small hole at the bottom of the V in the intermucosal layer and sew the tip of the appendix to that hole in the mucosa. We lay the appendix into the trough below the muscle layer and then close the muscle over the appendix so that it is now in a tunnel. Let's look at a side view of that Mitrofenov tunneling through the bladder. Here we have the outer bladder muscle in yellow and the inner bladder mucosa in pink and you can see that the Mitrofenov comes from the navel end and enters an opening in the muscle and then travels for about two inches in between the muscle and mucosa before exiting into the inside of the bladder where the urine is located. Here is an end-on view of that tunnel. As the bladder fills with urine, you will see that the mucosa gets pushed outward and that tightens the tunnel, squeezing the Mitrofenov shut. 
This is what keeps you from leaking urine out of your navel. Even though the Mitrofenov is squeezed tight in that tunnel, don't worry, a catheter can still glide through quite easily to empty the bladder. One last note about Mitrofenov surgery is that in most people, we are combining the Mitrofenov with a bladder augmentation. This is a surgery where you, we use intestine to enlarge the bladder. Click on the link in the description below and it will take you to my full length bladder augmentation video. For now, let's skip to the end of the bladder augmentation surgery. We cut open the bladder and add the intestinal augment. Then we add the Mitrofenov just like we tunneled it in before. Here I'm not showing that tunnel. Check out all the videos and education materials at SeanElliottMD.com. That's Sean Elliott with two L's and two T's, MD.com. Or on YouTube on our Sean Elliott MD channel.